Well, the crash sent a semi careening off the Second Street Bridge. It made the national news. Of course, the driver dangling above the Ohio River for around 45 minutes. The firefighter who rappelled down to pull that truck driver to safety stopped by WDRB Mornings today to talk about the emotions he's experienced since the rescue. How have you looked back at this? Like, when did it hit you what you had done? Because I know adrenaline yeah. fuels a lot of this. Yeah. But like, at what point did you finally come down from all that adrenaline, look at it and go, holy I cow. I think, honestly, it was probably last night. Like, I actually really? watched the rescue for the first time last yeah. night. Because I know as uh, Captain Sims probably feels, our phones, I mean, it's been, it's been a whirlwind. But it's something that's bigger than us, you know, like. Uh, it's a good time uh, to have some positivity for once. You know, we've had a lot of stuff going on in the in the city of Louisville and the in the country itself. So it's in the world essentially. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have uh, something positive and something successful happen that uh, gives people a feel good story. So, have you talked to the semi driver? Since I have you, not since you rescued her. I, I have not. No. Uh, no. I, I think that um, as you. As I spoke upon, when she hit the bridge, she was overcome with emotions, and uh -huh. that's a lot. I mean, well, she, sure was, she was facing death, you know, certain death, and sure. uh, we got it done. We successful rescue, and I think that she's just trying to take it all in, what could have happened. Talk about the role Faith played in this, because mm -hmm. you asked her, she, you said oh, she, yeah. was, she was praying when she yeah. got there, and then you yeah. asked her, do you yeah. pray? Well, we were on the, this is about the time we were on the rope out of the truck. She was mm -hmm. saying, thank God, thank God. I was or task oriented at that point, so I was locked in. Wasn't mm -hmm. really talking to her a lot, except for just reassuring her that we had her. Um, when we got out on the ladder and we're both just kind of dangling together, and they're bringing us in, you know, resetting systems and stuff like that. Uh, I was like, I was like, I heard her already pray, so I knew it, but I said, are you a praying woman? She said, yes, I am. I said, all right, we'll start praying for both of us. Uh, and so we started praying together, and so it was good. It was good. Calming. Yeah, it was calming. Wow, you can watch the full interview right now on WDRB.com.